my house won't sell. How can I fix that problem? That's the topic of my next video. <laughs> Why your house won't sell, that's the topic of my video right now. Hello everybody, my name is Mark Schreier. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button right below. But well, let's get to the topic, why can't your house sell? I'm gonna give information to help you sell your house. That's right, sell your house. You follow my guidelines and your house will have a much greater chance of actually being sold rather than just sitting on the market. You as, you, as a seller, have to picture yourself as a buyer. It's that simple. Picture yourself as a buyer. Walk out of your house and observe everything that you see from the outside of your house as a buyer. Detach yourself from the emotional connection you have with your property. And then walk in through your property and say to yourself, would you be willing to pay this asking price for this house? If the answer is yes and your house isn't selling, you're probably not being too honest. But if your answer is no, it's very simple. You need to change the things to make that answer turn to a truthful yes. Now, I'm going to give you a case in point. I recently so showed a property to my buyers. Uh, we were walking um, into the property on Long Island. It was a very nice area on Long Island, about a little over an acre of property. And as we walked up the property, we noticed newspapers and leaves all over the property. And this is late uh, winter already, we're almost into spring. So basically, you see that there was very poor landscaping. Nothing was kept up with the newspapers. You see garbage. It's a very, very poor first impression. The driveway wasn't shoveled from the snow, so it was slippery as well. When we got in up to the house, we noticed that the roof was in very, very poor condition. It was so poor that there was moss growing on the roof. Another red flag to any buyer, you don't have to be an engineer to see that this roof needs to be replaced. So now we're walking into the property and we already noticed a lot of problems. So our optimistic outlook for the buyers turned into something not so optimistic, but we were there and my buyers decided they would like to go in anyway. Walk into the property and major great room, cathedral ceilings, looks great first impression. But then when we look up, we saw some significant roof or ceiling damage. These were wooden beams on the ceiling with the roof that needed to be replaced on the outside. And we noticed from the inside, without even being engineers or anybody into construction, that the roof was buckling. The wood was starting to give way. Red flag, red flag, red flag. A buyer's not going to want to go near that. We try to go outside and the handles are missing for the sliding patio doors. So again, you're getting the point. If you want to sell your house, you got to look at it like a buyer. If you don't want to sell your property, then that's fine. But why waste your time and the time of the buyers, particularly during this pandemic, to have people over into your property if you are not going to be serious about getting your house sold? So basically what I'm trying to tell you is if you really want to sell your house, don't just put it on the market. You need to put it on the market, but you need to take care of certain things to make it sellable, to make it buyer friendly. Now, don't get me wrong, this house or any house in any condition will definitely sell, particularly in the market with very little inventory that we have right now. However, you need to price the house accordingly and you need to be upfront, market it as an investor special, market it as a handy person special and have the price reflect that. So if the people are coming to look for that particular property, knowing that it's an investor special, then you have a much greater chance of selling your property, even with the 15 newspapers on your front driveway. So if you want to sell it at high retail value, then you need to make sure you do the necessary upkeep so you, the buyer, would be willing to buy it yourself. So you want to know the trick on how to sell your property if it doesn't sell? You need to turn yourself into a buyer. And if you don't have that eye for that particular type of thing, then you could call in a realtor who could give you some tips or you can call on a friend or family member that might be into design. I hope this was helpful. Again, my name is Mark Schreier. I'm a licensed sales associate with Century 21 American Homes. If it was helpful, definitely give me one of these and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching.